Tonight, UFC 250, Sean O'Malley defeated Eddie Wineland via KO in the first round. In and out, he does a fin. Oh! Goodness. Oh my goodness, he slept in bed out of nowhere. Brian Ortega tweeted, that was a sick KO. Gilbert Burns tweeted, wow, nice right hand from Sean O'Malley. Wow. Corey Anderson tweeted, yo, congrats Sean O'Malley. LOL, I guess I'm crazy. And Tatiana Suarez tweeted, Sugar's versatility, fainting and great footwork. He had him guessing and then bam. Yeah, it went, it went perfect. You know, you can't complain. It, it, it seems like, I guess three months ago, the same thing happened. I got in there. I did what I needed to do and got out. So it feels super similar to that fight. Um, I think this one ended a little more, a little sweeter. Um, I'll have to go, I haven't really been able to watch it, but it felt good. Um, I think that's just something, that's just another, a, a tool I have in the toolbox is, is that, that, that same thing, that kind of fake uppercut into a right hand. Um, I have so many tools that one of them's gonna land. I have so many, and, and the tools I have are—they're—they're they're not just little shots. They're knockout shots. I've—I don't know. I have a lot of a lot of knockout um, finishes that are still to come. I, I know I landed a good spinning back kick to the body that really hurt him. I knew that hurt him right when it landed. Um, I land that a lot. It's a dangerous, dangerous kick. Um, it landed it nicely, and, and from there I took over. Um, Anybody that I, I'm going to be taller than pretty much everyone I fight. I'm going to be faster than pretty much everyone I fight. And that's a dangerous combination on top of the skills that I have. So, yeah, I think I was just, I'm just better. I feel calm. Um, I expect to knock him out in the first round. You know, I, when I say, when I, when I'm doing interviews and they, they what's your prediction? I, I don't say a first round knockout because I think it sounds cool or because people want to hear that. It's because I truly believe I'm going to knock them out in the first round. Um, I, I don't, I don't know why I don't feel that's just crazy. I don't know. I, maybe it's just because I knew I was going to do that and it just happened how it was supposed to. I, I do feel really calm. I felt calm after I knocked out Jose too. Um, I don't know. It feels, I feel good though. The cage was noticeably smaller. That, that definitely, I felt like it was smaller. Um, I like to come forward, establish dominance at the beginning. Uh, I don't have to necessarily push someone back the entire time, but I want to come out, establish dominance, and then I can move around. I don't mind moving around, going backwards. I'm not getting hit when I'm going backwards and I'm juking back and forth. I'm not really in danger. I'm not getting hit. They can't, they don't know what I'm going to do. And then I'll pop them with something. So. Um, even if I'm on, even if my fence, is, my back's up against the fence and I'm moving back and forth, I'm not, I, I'm still, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, he, he landed a right hand. I remember Jose kind of landed one little thing too, but uh, you know, when you're in there and it's, the cage is even smaller, it's, you, you, you're probably going to get hit. I'm, I'm pretty sure I went into this last fight saying I'm not going to get hit. I'm going to put this dude away, I'm not going to get hit. And pretty much it was as clean as it gets. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the UFC. I think they'll, I mean, a main event kind of sounds like, that almost sounds right. It sounds like something that, that should probably get done. Um, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully I'll sit down with Sean Shelby and we'll talk and figure out figure out what's next. But yeah, main event sounds nice. Yeah, I think our situation is probably a little different. Um, you know, they, they those guys have had big fights and a lot of fights and big wins. I'm not asking for a lot. Like literally, it's the, what I was asking for is still less than everyone made tonight. So I just want it to be fair. Um, I think the whole week was kind of about the sugar show and um, I was supposed to renegotiate after I knocked out Jose and they, and they wouldn't, you know, it didn't happen. So I don't, and it sucks that it's even, I even have to bring that stuff up and it has to be about money, but it shouldn't have to be. It should be, you know, it should be pretty fair. I think it should be a something that we all agree on and, and I definitely just want to get paid what I feel I'm worth. I mean, ideally, if, if I could pick who I'm going to fight, I, I, I want to fight, keep fighting strikers, people that want to stand and, and strike. I, that's what I really, really enjoy is knocking people out. Um, I know that we're eventually it's going to go to the ground, but that's why I prepare. I do more jiu-jitsu, more grappling than I do anything because, um, you know, I'm trying to, trying to get my grappling as high level as my striking. And I think it's, you know, it's almost there. And I'm just going to continue to keep getting better on both those. And, and I'm, I'm going to be a very, very, very dangerous bantamweight. And I, and I want to become the best bantamweight ever. And I know I have, you know, I'm going to be in this, I'm 25. I'm going to be in this sport, hopefully on bantamweight for the next five, six, seven years. So I have a lot of fights to put in um, and I have a lot of work to do. 
And um, as far as who, who who would be a good next opponent, I mean, it kind of depends what UFC, what we, we, we talk about. But if we can keep fighting strikers, I'm down to keep knocking people out. Gilbert Burns in the Instagram Q&A speaks on who he wants to fight if he doesn't get Kamaru Usman next. Here we go. What are your thoughts on Masvidal? I think Masvidal is a very, you know, very well around fighter, you know, fight for a long time. But I would love that matchup. I would love to fight Masvidal. But um, yeah. Somebody yeah. just asked if you don't, in the chat, somebody asked if you don't fight Usman next, who would be your ideal next opponent? Depends who is available. Let's say if I don't fight Usman, but if Usman fight Masvidal, I'll fight Neil Edwards or Kobe or anyone that is available i just i just feel that i get so much better competing that i'm not gonna stop and wait you know oh i'm number one i'm gonna wait no i'm just gonna keep competing if they don't give me tomorrow i'll fight masvidal or leon edwards or kobe kobe to anyone that's available how did you feel fighting with no audience yes yeah. the first one with maya with any right in brazil felt a little weird because it was so much silence, you know, it was too quiet. But, and I even felt on the beginning I was extra nervous. I was too nervous on the beginning. So I kind of had to adjust that. I was very nervous. I kind of, I figured out in the beginning of the fight with them, I was thinking about it still. And I had to adjust to this fight with, with Wooly because I couldn't, he was too dangerous in the beginning, so I adjust that, make sure I wasn't that nervous and I was relaxed. But yeah, I don't know. I think I got used to it with no crowd, and in that fight with Woodley, I was, I was, I was in a great zone. You know, I felt amazing. But the but it's different. It's, I talk the yeah, same. Yeah. I say no, yeah, I sure. fought a couple of times, but it's it's quiet, bro. It's different. I can feel. I, I could hear my heart pumping. I could <laughs> my breath, and I was like, hold. Oh, like it was different. Is eye contact important to you when you're in the octagon? Uh, sometimes I think, yeah, I like to, I like to look at the guy. I see if, he, if the fire is in there, if it's not. Uh, at the way is, I like it too to feel a little bit. But it's just more to have a feeling to, to try to feel the energy. But for me, I like it, but it's not that important, you know. If I block a low kick, I want to look at his eyes. If I punch him hard, I want to look at his eyes. When I make him miss the punch, I got to look at his eyes. But yeah. uh, what's your favorite takedown submission? I love takedowns a lot. I love single legs, double legs, inside trip. I like uh, I like more body locks. I think my favorite one is a body lock. But yeah, in submissions, on bars. I love on bars. If I, if I saw a clip from on bar, I'm going to take a look. I'm going to see what the guy did. Jeffrey, I'm going to try to copy my favorite submissions on bar so far. How often do you train BJJ compared to strike? I think I train very similar. I train BJJ when I'm in camp. When I'm off camp, I do more BJJ and wrestling for sure. But when I'm in camp, I do at least two to three times hard grappling sessions, you know, or I go to Wagner Rocha to get good sessions, or I go to Cyborg, or even same four, we, we grapple and we wrestle hard. But yeah, I do it like three, three times uh, uh, hard grappling sessions. And I spar hard to watch two times a week. Plus I do more technical pads with Henry and it's kind of like pretty even striking grappler for me. If you could give some advice to yourself in the beginning of your career, what would it be? Like if you I, could look back on a younger you. Uh, I think I would make sure I go to a nutritionist if it was me and see what was the right uh, division that I should be, you know, because yeah. I know in the beginning I cut a lot of, I cut weight, but wasn't much, but as a time was passing was crazy hard to make weight and I think affect a lot of my performance for younger me I say go to a doctor make a couple tests see you know how helpful it would be to cut the amount of weight or if it's better to come up I think that was the one of the couple things that would change I think